So now that we've proven that you can actually now using this bear token get the users, let's try and create a new user also using this token. Let's try and see what we have to do. Of course, we need to make it a post instead. We have the users here, right? Then we need to add some kind of body that's going to be raw and we're going to make it as JSON text. Now I already put in some information here about the user that I want to create. Uh, I also need the master key in here. I know that by looking into the code here, it needs the access token, which is the master token right here. Um, but I don't want to put that in here because instead I want to change this so that now when you create a user, I want you to have a token to actually create a user. So if I scroll up here, I can actually say only administrators can create users and they need to have a token. So I'll just grab this right here that we just used to get all the users and I'll just paste it in here instead of the current master setup. So what am I actually doing? I'm saying instead of using a master key, you need to be a user that's actually an admin to create new users. Now I just want to show you this. We could use the master key that would work. I just like this more that you have to have a locked in token to actually be able to create new users. I will change this in a second inside our API here so that's also documented. Let's try and do this now. So I don't need the master key anymore. Instead, I just need to say the header needs to be authorization with the bear token. I need to have the content time application JSON. And let's see if we can create a new user. And I get a new user back called Flunk with the mail of Flunk McDunk. And this is the ID. This is the picture. And of course, you don't see the password. But if we go into RoboMongo and we just do a uh, Double click here, we'll see the new user created with the password. And of course, we're going to Postman now and just do a get with all the users instead. And the header still needs to have our token right here. And let's do a send. You'll actually see the body now has two users instead of a single one. Great. So that's how you can actually change how the REST API handles authorization. Before we use the master token, now we're actually using um, sorry, the access token as the master, but now we're actually using the real token saying you need to be an admin to create a user and you need to send the bearer token to actually do that. So that was just playing around with actually creating a new user. Have fun, see you next time, we'll do some more fun.